Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the entire month of April 2023. Whether you're about to meet someone brand new or you're connecting with someone already, I will be getting pretty nosy, more so than my weeklies. I've added some additional questions to my spread, okay? So I'm gonna pull your person's feelings for you, your feelings for them, how they view you in the month of April, what actions they take towards you. I'll also ask what will be the biggest challenge between the two of you and the potential outcome and your advice going forward. Then I'll clarify. Now, Gemini, if you are in a recent no contact situation where you and your person haven't spoken much in the last few days, couple of weeks, wow, just when I said that, the Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I will pull your person's hidden feelings at the end of the reading to find out how they feel about the fact that you guys aren't talking and if they plan to reach out, okay? Some of you guys could be connecting to an earth sign or another air sign with that Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. All right, so let's begin. All right, Spirit, can I please get a seven card spread for Gemini today? What's the energy surrounding Gemini's romantic love life for the entire month of April, 2023? Seven card spread. What do we have for Gemini in love? The uh, King of Swords wanted to come out. All right, we'll see what's going on with that. We'll see if it comes out. Gemini, love, April 2023, one more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Geminis. Okay, so your person's feelings for you in April, we have the Page of Swords, so you got someone keeping an eye on you this month. Their view of you, the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. Their actions towards you in April, the Ten of Cups, beautiful. Your feelings for this person, Ten of Swords, Gemini, what's going on? Hmm. This person wants to build a life with you. They're keeping an eye on you. They're viewing you as someone that they would like to date and celebrate life with. But why is your feelings the Ten of Swords? I'll get to that in a moment. The potential challenge for you guys in the month of April? Four of Swords. You guys aren't talking. That explains it or you guys are on a separation. The potential outcome, the Knight of Cups, and your advice, Six of Pentacles. Overall energy for the two of you, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. All right, so Gemini, um, man, the last few months, I was hoping to catch you guys a break today, but there's someone here that's wanting to build a life with you, wanting to build a future with you, but you just don't feel like you can trust them the Ten of Swords is your feelings for them. Like you feel like they hit the ultimate betrayal button and you feel like you are a walking dartboard to the situation. You're like, I don't know if I, I want to do this anymore. You know, some of you guys are separated right now with the Four of Swords being in your challenge for the month of April, or you both are just taking a little breather, not talking to each other much right now, right? While you guys aren't talking, this person's watching you, Page of Swords. And now that I see the whole situation, they may be viewing you as just throwing yourself to your friendships for support during this time, um, hanging out with family, trying to do anything to get your mind off of the situation with this person. My advice, if you're trying to get your mind off of this person, I wouldn't watch a tarot reading. I would click off right now, okay? But use your own discernment, all right? Can't tell you what to do, but in this person's actions towards you, uh, they do want to build a life with you. They still see a future. They may feel like this is just temporary. They don't feel like you're as serious about a separation as you may have said to them. They are still keeping the hope and faith that they can bring this relationship back intact. Okay. And with the outcome being the Knight of Cups, I do see someone expressing their feelings, being very genuine, trying to come from their heart and express what they really want with the relationship to see, you know, what happens next. And with your advice being the Six of Pentacles, they're really wanting you to only get to the situation if you feel like you're being given the same affection, time, attention, and return. And with the overall energy being the Queen of Cups, you both have a lot of love for each other. The, the emotions are there, the emotions are strong, but someone here is trying to be loyal to themselves. Just when I said that, the sun got brighter in my room. Major icon for Leo, Leo rules the sun. 
So some of you guys could be connecting with a Leo or something recently just became very highlighted, very illuminated. Maybe you saw a side of this person that you never thought you would see or you saw something in regards to your relationship that you never thought you would see. And I feel like you're keeping the hope and faith that you're doing what's right for yourself and throwing yourself into your goals, your aspirations, your career, spending more time finding your own independence from this situation just to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario if you do decide not to entertain this person moving forward you want to feel prepared so you're in this energy of Badison what whatever happens between me and this person I want to be prepared to either just maintain my independence or to just you know work on myself even more you can always continue working on yourself I work on myself every day and then there's that king of swords that wanted to come out during the pre-shuffle Gemini Libra Aquarius energy the king of swords is that s situation where you sacrifice your feelings for a situation to use logic, to use reason, you know, really think your way through a situation. And for some of you, you guys could be talking to someone that is very um, intelligent that can help you during this period of time. Sometimes the King of Swords in my readings can represent a divorce attorney. Um, so some of you guys could be going through a trial separation with someone that you are married to, or there is, you know, children involved or just a lot of monies. A lot of shared resources, a lot of shared assets. So I'm going to start clarifying. I'm going to break it down. I feel like um, for the past few months, I've been on this journey with some Gemini's on how to get through a potential breakup, a separation of a marriage, or you're just struggling with figuring out where your heart belongs, right? So let's dig in. Why is the Page of Swords how this person feels about Gemini in April? That sun has been beaming ever since I held up that other card. Look at that. Two of Pentacles judgment. I feel like in April, you're about to make your final judgment call, whether to reconcile differences with this person or to just release it and move forward in your life. Right? If you look at this card, Gemini, you see how this is you. Picture this cat, you. All right, and you see how there's this translucent energy right above your body? Well, that translucent energy is your higher self. Your higher self dropping little downloads into your crown chakra during deep meditation, during, you know, sleep, you know, or just like when you zone out and you just let your thoughts wander and you're getting a lot of a lot of hits, right? Please pay attention to those hits because that's yourself your higher self and your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, all giving you all the guidance that you need during this time, right? To help you make a decision. And that's why the Queen of Cups is the overall energy. The Queen of Cups is a very spiritual person, a very highly intuitive person, a very empathic person. You could have cancer in your birth chart somewhere, strongly gain Cancer Venus or Cancer Rising, all right? Or you're a cusper. Why is the Page of Swords how this person feels about Gemini in April? Why is the Page of Swords how this person feels about Gemini in April? Two of Cups, this person loves you. Regardless of what went down between the two of you, because I don't know what went down. I don't know if it was the both of you that, you know, caused some sort of fallout or just one. All I know is this person is keeping an eye on you, Page of Swords, because they love you. They see you as their person. They don't want anybody else. You're all they want. You know, whether they showed you this or not, this is how they're feeling. But in my experience, actions are more important than words. You can say I love you all day long, but if you're treating someone like crap or not respecting someone's boundaries, then it, it doesn't mean anything, in my opinion and they're thinking about you a lot and thinking that you know this is all going to be resolved soon this person really truly thinks that this is all going to be resolved soon but there's moments where they also get a whiff of clarity and it knocks them down a little bit with the four of cups where they start to feel like oh man i think this is done with the four of cups some of you guys are definitely dealing with a cancerian i've got cancerian energy all over this reading and then there's the devil um, again it doesn't have to be a specific zodiac sign it's just it's giving me heavy cancerian influence unless something major happened during a cancer full moon or um, 
Yeah. Why is this person viewing Gemini? Actually, why is Gemini's feelings for this person the Ten of Swords? And then I open up the deck to the Five of Swords and the Devil. You feel like this person keeps lying to you or manipulating you or trying to control you. Now, cross watchers, if you're watching this thinking that that, that's a, that doesn't sound like me, then this is not your situation, okay? And I don't read for cross watchers, all right? So, you know. But I'm strongly getting a Gemini that's like, Badison, I don't know if I can trust this person, you know? Or they, you know, gather information off of you that they can use against you in the future. Like if you tell them on like a third date that you have some insecurities about your, your weight and then during an argument they're like, well, you know what, you're too fat for me anyway. It, that's the five of swords with the devil energy, right? Someone that, you know, gets you to open up and be vulnerable just to use, you know, what you say as verbal missiles to gain what they want out of the situation, okay? That's what, that's what that Ten of Swords is. It's feeling like someone's throwing verbal missiles at you. You know, darts. You know, picture yourself a dartboard on a wall. And someone's like, all right, throwing another one because swords are thoughts and communication. It's the words we speak. It's what we think about somebody. And you think that this person doesn't think highly of you based off of actions. But... I do see that this person has feelings for you. I don't, I'm not sure if they are aware that you feel this way. Why the Ten of Swords? Why the Ten of Swords? The Empress. Some of you guys could have children together. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Right now you feel like you should nurture yourself, but there's a part of you that feels like this person has it. There are moments where they do act very nurturing and loving. You do have some good things to say about them in the situation, but right now you're struggling with finding those positives. You're really struggling with finding those positives, Gemini, right? I'm strongly getting a, a Gemini that's married to somebody because the Empress in my readings usually comes up as a married woman. All right, but if you're not a married woman, you could be a, a father, a, a mother, because men and women do come up as the empress. Um, you're waiting on love. You're waiting on love for yourself, love for others, love, you know, a, a special kind of love. With the Seven of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups, I'm strongly feeling a Gemini that feels like you invest in situations from an authentic place, an authentic heart center, and you may feel like you don't get that in return, and you're trying to figure out why. Why do you not get the love that you give to others? Six of Wands, Four of Swords. Some of you guys are really going to be enjoying this little break because it's going to give you clarity on how to move forward. Why is this person viewing Gemini as the Three of Cups? Why is this person viewing Gemini as the Three of Cups? Why is this person, for some there could be a third party involved. For some there could be a third party involved and that could have been the issue. Someone was waiting on somebody to make a decision. Why the Three of Cups? Why the Three of Cups? The Six of Swords. So this person's viewing you as moving on from conflict. Remember how we saw the Five of Swords when I was clarifying your feelings? Well, the Six of Swords moves on from the Five of Swords. So this person's viewing you as taking no more BS. You're in this energy of any place but here. I don't know where I'm freaking going, but any place but here, right? The Six of Swords in this art depiction always reminds me of those two people that have a huge argument and then mutual friends surrounding them, you know, separate them and just pull the other one into like a separate bedroom to help them vent and talk out their feelings. It's like, all right, we need to separate these two and get them any place but here, right? Just to calm down. So you guys could have had a recent fight or this is not a recent fight. Maybe uh, there was some stuff that went down um, a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago. Something feels very recent though. And because that Ten of Swords feels fresh. It looks like fresh wounds. Fresh wounds. I mean, you can, not to be graphic, but you can see by the art depiction, those look like fresh wounds right here, you know? So whether this happened two months ago, two years ago, I have a Gemini here that's still feeling like it's fresh, right? And this person is viewing you as looking towards friends and family for support with that Three of Cups, but they're also viewing you as someone that they would like a reunion with. Five of Pentacles, leaving them out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles 
with the page of wands is telling me that you've removed yourself from the situation or you're going to remove yourself from the situation in April by either ghosting this person, abandoning this person, telling them to get out of your house, right? And the page of wands and the sun, the page of wands is telling me that somebody here felt like they got, they were playing with fire and they got burned. Right, because if you look closely, the page of wands in this art depiction reads differently than other tarot decks. In other tarot decks, the page of wands is very flirty. It's it's ex exciting news coming in for somebody. But when you look at this card and you look at the tip of that cat's tail, it's burning. So this little kitten played with fire and got burned. So some of you Gemini's may have attempted to reconcile with this person or attempted to give this person the benefit of the doubt whether you were waiting on them to make an important decision about the future of you guys' relationship or how they were going to show up for you in this relationship and you feel like you played with fire and you got burned. You're like, I took a chance and it backfired, bit me in the ass, or burned your tail. But now you're seeing clarity on a situation with the sun and the king of swords. And we saw that strong illumination of the sun in my bedroom um, a couple minutes ago. And then if you look at this king of swords, you see how your heart chakra is resting up against that snowy ice branch? You're telling me that even though you have feelings for this person with the queen of cups, you're putting your feelings on ice on time out while you try to collect your thoughts on what to do here moving forward. Clarify why the four of swords is the challenge for Gemini this month. Clarify why the Four of Swords is the challenge for Gemini this month. The Knight of Swords. Your challenge this month is going to be your mouth. All right? Because it, it shows me that there's going to be times where you're going to try and keep your mouth shut on what you want to say to this person. But other times you're going to be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to read this person their Miranda rights. I'm going to tell them everything that I want to tell them. And they may be unsus unsuspecting about it. Unless this is um, telling me that the challenge between the two of you guys is that you guys start to have a conversation and it quickly turns into hostile where, you know, feelings start to get, you know, uh, hurt and people lash out instead of talking through the situation, right? I mean, look how irritated you look in this picture. You're like, let me at him. Let me at her. You know, seven of cups, the emperor, three of pentacles. For some of you... You guys met each other at work or you work together. Oh man. So if you guys have like a family business, that's got to be awkward. Um, so just keep it cool um, so that you guys' reputations don't get affected with the business, especially if you've got family that depend on it. But with the Emperor to the Three of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups, it is telling me that the masculine energy in the situation is feeling really confused, wants to get on the same page, but the feminine energy is like no mas. Clarify why this person's actions towards Gemini is the Ten of Cups. For some of you, I'm getting a side message. For some of you, um, you may have been the third party to this person and you were waiting on this person to separate from a situation to be with you and you may feel like you never got that. You may felt like you were just on the outside looking in at this person in their own family, waiting on them to get a divorce, to finalize a break, breakup, to be with you. I mean, if you look closely at this card, inside that window is this cat's lover with another person and kids. So some of you Geminis, you may have been you know, on the side of another person's relationship and this person was telling you that they were going to get a divorce or get a separation in order to be with you. And if that's not the case, disregard. I feel like that's only for a select few. Because I am feeling like there's a Gemini here that was waiting on a new beginning with the Page of Cups, Three of Cups with this person, but they, they never gave you the relationship and now you feel betrayed because of another person maybe. Clarify why the Ten of Cups is this person's actions towards Gemini in April. Oh man, the devil and the, the death card and the ten of cups. It's telling me that this person is still going to hold on to the relationship. And I got the king of pentacles and the ten of cups. This is someone that doesn't want the relationship to end. But the moment that they feel like you're done with them, um, I do feel like they're going to come in and try to plead their case, seven of wands, and defend why you should give them a second chance. Okay. Um, this person could be a Capricorn. I'm getting, I'm just getting strong Scorpio, Capricorn, and Cancer for this person that you're dealing with, Gemini. Strongly. 
All right, I'm get yeah, yeah. I mean, I usually don't like to narrow it down to a specific zodiac sign, but I'm getting Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio for this person that you're dealing with. All right, but why is the Knight of Cups the potential outcome? Why is the Knight of Cups the potential outcome? This is the most intense reading I think I've done in a very, very long time, Gemini. The most intense reading ever. Why the Knight of Cups? The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is you. You came up as the King of Swords earlier, and now you're coming up this, as the Queen of Swords. This person's coming to express their feelings to you. They could be younger than you. Um, this person's coming to sp express their feelings to you, and you're over here climbing to the top of that tree to get a, a higher view of the situation, to get access to the real truth, the real clarity of a situation, you know, high above the clouds, right? Bird's eye view to see what this person's trying to come at you with, if they're coming at you with the truth or not the truth. Regardless, they're coming to express themselves, okay? And they want to talk. Magician, Virgo energy, but also Gemini. They want to talk. Why is the Six of Pentacles Gemini's advice? Your advice is to choose a new direction to have wants if this connection is not giving you um, what you deserve. If it feels too one-sided, where you feel like you're the one carrying the relationship, you're the one doing all the work, you're the one that's planning the dates, you know, just talking your feelings out, things like that, and to focus on your work, Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. But this person in April is going to make an attempt to reconcile differences with you if you make any pleas to walk away from the relationship. That's what I'm strongly getting. All right. Just do what's best for yourself, okay, Gemini? All right, so if you are in a recent no contact situation, let's see how this person feels about you. I love you, Gemini. I know you've been going through it. It's been in my reads for months now. I set my intentions before this reading that I wanted to pull on some good energy for you guys. I just can't help what comes through. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. Is it focusing? I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. This totally matches the reading, Gemini. I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. I mean, I don't know if this person even is aware to the fact that you felt this way. Like maybe this person was blind to their behavior or thought you were happy. I don't know. This is how they're coming in and then how you're coming in is totally different. It's like, I think I even said that to you on your March reading, but just do what's best for yourself, okay? So for zodiac signs you could be connecting to, I got Taurus, Libra here, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer. Those are the main ones, but it really could be any zodiac sign, all right? So I hope this reading helps, all right? If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. If you're watching this on a Saturday, that means I go live for the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, love you, Gemini. Later, Gators.